Assalamualaikum and welcome back. Let's jump into the world of Kingdom Animalia. This video will help us to understand the phenomena of reproduction in sponges. Let's begin. Sponges are hermaphrodites, but reproduction occurs by both the means, that is, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Reproduction without the involvement of sex cells or gametes is termed as asexual reproduction. During asexual reproduction, a single parent sets buds or fragments to give rise to two or more offspring. Since the process involves only the replication of cells by mitosis, the offspring have hereditary traits identical to those of the parent. There are three types of asexual methods that have been adapted by sponges. First one is fragmentation, second one is budding, and third one is gamule formation. In the process of fragmentation, a fragment or a piece of sponge is separated from a parent body that settles on a new substrate and becomes independent whole organism. As in the diagram here, there is line of weakness from here the part that is splitted or thrown away from the parental body is developed into a new whole organism. This process of asexual reproduction is termed as fragmentation. Some sponges reproduce asexually by bodies. As in the diagram here you can observe the whole phenomena. A small part of a parent's body grows as birth and becomes differentiated into a new individual. This individual may take up independent existence or the buds from a single parent may remain attached, forming a comp colony composed of many individuals. Sponges also reproduce asexually by the formation of gametes. Gametes are environmentally resistant structures that mean they survive hostile conditions such as change in temperature, desiccation and remain dormant for long periods. Upon favorable conditions, they settle down, attach themselves to a substratum, and generate a new sponge. If we have a close look on a structure of gametes, they are the aggregation of amoebocytes known as archaeocytes. These amoebocytes are totipotent, that is, capable of giving rise to any other type of cell. The mass of the archaeocytes is surrounded by a protective layer. As in the diagram here, you can observe that the protective layer is formed by the collagen or spongeal fibers and they may be enforced by the spicules. This diagram demonstrates two types of gametes. Basically, these are the gametes of two different sponges. Since the gametes withstand harsh environments, they are an excellent means of colonization for society or gametes. Now we will discuss sexual reproduction in sponges. Most sponges are hermaphroditic, but eggs in plants are usually produced at different times. The sponge that is producing sperm at the time of reproduction is called as male sponge and the one that is producing eggs at the time of reproduction is said to be female sponge. The gametes develop from the differentiation of either chronocytes or amoebocytes depending upon the species of sponge. Now look at the cycle here. We will start from the point marked by star. Sperms are released out from the sponge through the outgoing water from the oscula. The sperm that releases makes the way into another sponge through incoming water by ostia. The chronocytes trap the sperm cells and they flow through the interior of the animal. The sperms are then delivered to the egg by the amoebocytes. Eggs are stored within the mesohyle and that is where the fertilization takes place to the form mission of zygote. The development leads to the flagellated larval stage which leads the sponge. This development takes place within the maternal sponge leading to the formation of larval stages. The larval stages bear flagella which help to escape out of the maternal sponge body. The larva does escape from the parental body and swim for few hours to many days. Finally, they settle down, get attached to a suitable substratum, metamorphose and grow into a new sponge. And again, this cycle continues. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, kindly hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and your classmates. Allah Hafiz.